Hi, my name is Patrick Nidri. I'm a photographer and I'm an addict. Um, specifically, I'm addicted to posting on Instagram, but the one issue that I have with Instagram is that I'm unable to post multiple images that have different aspect ratios in the same post. Meaning, you can put 10 images in one post on Instagram, but they either all have to be square or they all have to be horizontal or they all have to be vertical. And so um, I looked around for an app that allowed you to combine multiple different aspect ratios and I wasn't able to find any. So I went ahead and um, created a for Photoshop workflow that enabled me to do that. So meaning I've created a essentially a large panorama and I add as many images as I want and then I split that up into 10 evenly sized images. Um, and the result is, uh, as you can see on the screen, I have horizontals and verticals all in one post. On Instagram, you're able to post images that are 1080 pixels wide. And the maximum height you can go with is either 1350, um, with the minimum height being 566 pixels. So we're going to need to keep that in mind um, when we make our layout in Photoshop. So we're going to go ahead and create a new document. And as I mentioned, um, the image can be 1080 pixels wide, but since we're going to split it up into 10, we're going to make it 10,800 pixels wide. And then the height, we're going to go with the maximum height available. And we're going to fill our background with white. You can always change that later. So now that I've created this document, you can see it's pretty wide, but we're going to split this up into 10 different um, documents by going to new guide layout. And then we're going to change the columns to 10. Photoshop does the math. It automatically splits this up into 10 evenly spaced 1080 by 1350 images. And just like that, we have our ratio. So then we're going to need to load some images into our stacks. Um, so we'll go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Click Enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the images that I want to. So here we go. We got all of these images, and I'm going to open them up. And then Photoshop is going to add them all to another document. So then I will select all the images that I want to use and then drag and drop them into this document. So now what I'm going to need to do is change my layout. And so I can, you know, move these like I would normally move an image in Photoshop. I'll just have to, you know, resize them. And one of the cool things is you can spread an image you know, this large, let's say you really like a picture in your layout and you want to feature it, you can start it out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and space these images out and then I'll come right back. All right. So I've got all my images laid out. I've got the guides and what I'm going to do is select the slice tool. Um, the slice tool allows me to slice from guides, meaning that I can split the image up into 10 different images very easily by just clicking slices from guides. So now this is a kind of annoying part about Photoshop. Um, when I go to export the images by clicking file, export, and save for web, I am unable to export any images larger than 8192. It's just a known bug. So if you have um, more than like six images, you will have to uh, do this in two separate steps. Um, so that means I also have to go back to the crop tool and select, let's just say the first four images because there's a nice clean seam there. There's a, there's a little white border and I have to zoom in and make sure I'm right on that guide just like that. Perfect. So now I will again, save for web shift command option S if you're on a Mac and I will shift and click all these images. Now you can see the height is back to 1350 and I can bump the quality all the way back up and I'll go ahead and click save. Um, I've created a file called export and or a folder called export, excuse me. And then I'll go ahead and just save the first batch of images just like that. Perfect. So now 
I'm going to go back to the crop tool and we're going to zoom all the way out again. Move my crop over here. And what you can do is actually um, record an action. So the first time you do this, you can get all this recorded in that way when you want to export the next time you don't have to worry about doing all this stuff over and over again. So let's just make sure that we have our slices again. Sometimes they get erased. I don't know why, but I'll go ahead and repeat the process. Slices from guides, shift command option S to save for web. And then zoom out so I can see everything. And again, just click shift, shift, click, shift, click and make sure we're on 1350, bump the quality up to 100, and then click save. So now we'll have a new folder. And go ahead and export those. Now, if you're on a Mac, your next process is going to be airdropping this to your phone. So I'll just go ahead and select all of these images, click share, airdrop. If you have a um, Windows computer, you might have to email this to yourself. I'm not really entirely sure um, what your workflow would be, but I will click airdrop just like that. Now I have the 10 images on my phone. Perfect. And I'll go back to Instagram and I'll go ahead and make my posts. And so the way that I do this is when you have your first image selected, you zoom all the way out and then you click the button in the bottom right that gives you the multiple item post. And then I zoom out again, zoom out again, and then I repeat this until I have all the images. Then I'll click next and boom, just like that, I can post a multi panorama image. Hope you guys learned something and make sure you follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Patrick Nidri. Thanks so much.